आज हम जो कंसेप्ट के बारे में बात करने वाले हैं वो है एम्पेरिसम सो एम्पेरिसम इज द फिलोसफी विच सेज दैट सेंस एक्सपीरियंस इज द मोस्ट रिलायबल सोर्सेस ऑफ नॉलेज फॉर स्टडिंग एम्पेरिसम हम लोग देखेंगे जॉन लॉक के बारे में बर्कली के बारे में एंड गेविड ह्यूम के बारे में सो जॉन लॉक सो जॉन लॉक की थ्योरी ऑफ नॉलेज जॉन लॉक ने नॉलेज को ऐसे डिफाइन किया है कि इट इज द परसेप्शन ऑफ एन एग्रीमेंट और डिसएग्रीमेंट बिटवीन आइडियाज सो बेसिकली यहाँ पे सबसे पहला शब्द जो देख रहे हो वो है परसेप्शन परसेप्शन मतलब टू सी टू परसीव सो टू सी टू परसीव यू नीड सेंस एक्सपीरियंस द नॉलेज ऑफ सेंस एक्सपीरियंस सो बेसिकली इट इज एम्पेरिसम and this definition of knowledge fits naturally if not exclusively within within an account of a priori knowledge jab aap perceive karte ho ek kisi ideas ko i mean to say uh, like you see an apple and you see the idea of an apple so basically there is an agreement between the already perceived ideas right to yahan pe a priori knowledge ka bhi use hota hai and this knowledge is based on kind of reflection of our ideas and we can know by just thinking about it like agar aapne koi nayi object nayi object i mean to say dekh rahe ho aur usko aap past mein bhi dekh chuke ho jaise ki maine example diya apple ka to basically that's a reflection of your ideas but that's also the confirmation by your sense uh, by your senses so that is how the theory of knowledge works here Now let's see substance and qualities. So Locke ne accept kiya mind ko and God ko as substance and matter ko bhi unhone accept kiya hai. So yahan we can see some kind of rationalist element also because mind is here, but mostly the focus is on empiricism. So according to Locke, we get the knowledge of mind through reflection. Mind ka knowledge hame hota hai through reflection because we cannot see what is there in the mind so we reflect we reflect through the ideas and we get the knowledge through our ideas so primary qualities of mind yahan pe diya hai thinking ability to initiate movement willing with the qualities of perceiving thinking memory willing we assume mind as unknown substratum so mind ke bare mein basically hame kuch zyada idea nahi hai but because mind uh, ke bare mein hum jante reflection ke through and reflection ke through hum jaan ke hum figure out karte hai ki how we can understand all the things around now let's say about self and god so locke ne recognize kiya three substance ko god finite intelligence and bodies and these are building blocks that compose all type of things and so occupy a central place in the determination of identity conditions ओके सो बेसिकली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड कि सेल्फ एंड गॉड आर द थ्री सब्सटेंस एंड दे आर द बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स दे आर द क्रिएटर्स एंड इसमें सारे थिंग्स आ जाते हैं इट कंपोज ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इट इज इट इज हैविंग अ सेंट्रल प्लेस इन द डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ आइडेंटिटी कंडीशन आइडेंटिटी और जो भी चीजें होती है उसके लिए बेसिकली कौन मतलब विच इज द सोर्सेस दिस आर द सोर्सेस because of all these things we get to know about different things present in this universe now skepticism so here the label sensitive knowledge is introduced to cover our grasp of the existence of the particular outer objects we encounter in experience this choice of label in fact makes lock a bold and the skeptic so he was not a skeptic He was an anti-skeptic because जो भी चीजें समझ नहीं आई वो भी जो भी चीजें लगती है कि वो हमारे uh, you know understanding से बाहर है उसको उन्होंने sensitive knowledge के label में डाल दिया जो भी existential चीजें है जो हमारे समझ से बाहर है वो sensitive knowledge के अंदर आ गया तो वहां पर हमारा doubt करने का question ही नहीं आता because that's a sensitive knowledge and we cannot doubt further. and therefore he was a anti skeptic so this was about john lock his theory of knowledge his substance and qualities self and god skepticism theory of knowledge jahan pe humne perception ki baat ki 
देन सब्सटेंस एंड क्वालिटीज जहां पे हमने बात किया माइंड की गॉड एंड मैटर की देन सेल्फ एंड गॉड थ्री सब्सटेंसेस बेसिकली गॉड फिनाइट इंटेलिजेंस बॉडीज एंड स्केप्टिसिज्म जहां पता चला कि लॉक वॉज एंटी स्केप्टिक नाउ लेट सी अबाउट जियॉर्ज बर्कली सो जियॉर्ज बर्कली लेट सी अबाउट थियोरी ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ जियॉर्ज बर्कली सो ही सेज दैट और रेदर ही आर्ग्यूज दैट two unlike substances cannot causally act on each other that means two substances which are unlike they cannot act on each other after establishing that we only perceive sensible things we only perceive sensible things and that sensible things are all mind dependent he concludes that there can only be one substance that of ideas or the mind so he is also saying that there is something that is ideas or the mind that that we can you know we can uh, like uh, perceive through mind basically it is about that whatever we see around we are perceiving it through senses and then it is reflecting through our mind so we have to believe that ideas that is there in the mind right now substance and qualities so berkeley was an immaterialist he was not materialist he was immaterialist he held that there are no material substance so this is very important point he said that there are no material substance and there are only finite mental substances and an infinite mental substances that is god now let's see about self and god berkeley on the self said that since i never have any direct perceptual experience of my mind or myself but only of various particular perceptual qualities or operations of the mind i cannot be said to have an, any idea of my mind or myself so he is saying that because he has not perceived he has not has had perceptual experience of the mind or self and therefore it is difficult to believe in that idea of mind or self now let's see about the deist conception of god so deist conception of god was held by many philosophers scientists like newton and many others like zephyrson franklin according to this view god created the universe with great precision and order like a vast clock work set it in motion but then stood back and allowed it to run on its own but berkeley wanted to defend a more traditional christian conception of god as a personal god who not only designed the universe but continually keeps it going through his continuous presence so he uh, considered berkeley considered that god after designing the universe he was there only like he was there to watch that the things was working properly or not so many people of uh, like many people who believe into this philosophy says that god has designed this universe and then he left somewhere but for berkeley it is not like that berkeley says that god has designed the universe but continually keeps it going through his continuous presence he attempts to counter the deist conception of god with his subjective idealism when the tree history of modern philosophy berkeley three falls in the forest sorry it was it is tree tree falls tree falls in the forest does it not make a sound or even not exist if no one is around to perceive it so it is a direct argumentative question that if somewhere in the forest trees falls suppose koi jungle mein agar ped gir jata hai aur kisi ko awaaz nahi aati koi aas pass village hai gaon hai to wahan pe kisi ko awaaz nahi aati to kya wo incident hua hi nahi tha क्योंकि किसी ने परसीव ही नहीं किया ओके एंड अदर क्वेश्चन इज दैट अगर हम 
कोई रूम से बाहर निकल जाते हैं तो क्या वो रूम एग्जिस्टेंस से गायब हो जाता है आई मीन वो एग्जिस्ट करना बंद कर देता है हम देखा जाए अगर बर्कली के आर्ग्यूमेंट से तो हमें लगेगा कि हाँ ये पॉसिबल है बिकॉज बर्कली ने कहा है कि टू बी इज टू परसीव जो हम लोग परसीव कर सकते हैं उसका ही एग्जिस्टेंस है जो हम देख सकते हैं उसका ही एग्जिस्टेंस है ये होता है सब्जेक्टिव आइडियलिज्म इसके हिसाब से देखा जाए तो पेड़ का होना असंभव था इवन रूम से हम निकल गए तो रूम का होना भी असंभव होना चाहिए बट यहाँ पे बर्कली बोलते हैं कि ऐसा नहीं होता ही आर्ग्यूज दैट दिस डजेंट हैपन बिकॉज इवन इफ नो बडी इज वॉचिंग देर इज एन इटरनल परसीवर हु इज दैट इटरनल परसीवर गॉड इज द इटरनल परसीवर सो गॉड्स एग्जिस्टेंस इज नेसेसरी टू द कंटिन्यूस एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ओके सो दिस वॉज बर्कली पोजिशन नाउ लेट सी अबाउट हिज स्केप्टिसम so our idea of material object is a combination of their sensible qualities not necessarily that their actual qualities if that is the case we cannot know the true nature of objects or the universe so it is showing that he was skeptic why because he said that object has both the qualities primary qualities secondary qualities primary qualities are real to that object secondary qualities are based on the subject subject who is watching that object who is defining that object so basically the secondary qualities and the idea of secondary qualities is not clear to us and therefore we can be doubtful about it so he was a skeptic now let's see again so george berkeley his main idea is to be is to perceive so basically empiricism empiricism is a philosophy which relies mostly on the sense experience as a basic source of knowledge so theory of knowledge here we have seen that we only perceive sensible things and that sensible things are only mind dependent because everything we perceive is reflected through our mind and therefore this theory of knowledge is like uh, there can only be one substance that of ideas or the mind so he believed in the substance called ideas or the mind and he as a substance uh, to define substance and qualities he was a materialist he held that there are no material substance there are only finite mental substance and infinite mental substance that is god now self and god we have seen that berkeley refused to accept self because he has not perceived senses or mind right and uh, god concept also we have seen through the deist conception so hope so this idea is quite clear and skepticism is also he was an anti skeptic okay so let's see about our third philosopher that is david hume so david hume theory of knowledge hume's doctrine of transcendental idealism held that all theoretical that is scientific knowledge is a mixture of what is given in sense experience and what is contributed by the mind so he is also believing uh, as a theory of knowledge he is also believing into both sense experience and the contribution of mind so he says further that the contributions of the mind are necessary conditions for having any sense experience at all so if you wish or if you want to have a sense experience then there is a necessary contributions of the mind that we have to consider so agar aap maan rahe ho ki sense object se hamara sab knowledge experience ho raha hai but wahan pe aapko ye bhi manna padega ki mind ka bhi equally contribution hai and then only the theory of knowledge will be formed now let's say about substance and qualities the substance the idea of substance was famously critiqued by david hume who held that since substance cannot be perceived it should not be assumed to exist so again on the line of philosopher previous philosopher berkeley berkeley says that to be is to perceive so he has rejected the concept of self and again we see the concept 
of uh, substance is rejected by David Hume. He says that substance cannot be perceived. So we should assume that it should not exist. Now let's see about self and God. So Hume claims that we never directly apprehend the self. So this was also being said by Berkeley that we never apprehend the self. So unlike Descartes, he concludes from this that there is no substantial self. Descartes has accepted self, somewhat he accepted self because he said uh, he was into dualism. But here Hume is like Hume concludes that there is no substantial self. Even Berkeley was into the same line, into the same zone. He was also not believing to self. So in a famous passage, Hume uses introspective awareness to show that the self is a non-substantial bundle of perceptions. So self is basically a non-substantial. Non-substantial that means having no substance or have attributes of substance. So it's like basically the bundle of perceptions. So whatever you perceive is you is that you are going to believe. And Hume also believes that the concept of God is unattainable through senses. So basically here we can see that he is rejecting self and God because he is not accepting self because it cannot be perceived and he is also not accepting God because it could not be perceived by senses. And about skepticism, so his idea is that true knowledge is unattainable. True knowledge is unattainable and therefore he was also skeptic. Alright, so we completed three philosophers, George Berkeley, David Hume and John Locke. If you believe that any of the concepts we have been through now is doubtful or uh, not complete, or there is something which uh, there is something that more could be added in this philosophies then you are obviously welcome anytime to add comment section or just raise the discussion so that we uh, we like go into the right kind of knowledge into the right kind of learning so thank you very much for watching Hope